Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at an example of how to figure out the current through an inductor in an RL circuit. Well, first of all, what we have here is we have a 10 volt source connected to a 2 ohm resistor and a switch, and the switch will open at time equals zero, which means that the switch is closed before that moment in time. And what we need to do then is look at the steady state situation of this circuit when the switch is closed, in other words, when time is less than zero. So at the moment that time is less than zero, what does that circuit look like? Well, the switch will be closed, current will be flowing here, it will split across the branch, get to this branch point, but in a steady state situation, a pure inductor does not offer any resistance or opposition to the current flow. That means that the inductor acts like a short circuit and all the current that goes to the 4 ohm resistor will go through the inductor and none of it will go through the 16 ohm resistor. So we can simply remove that 16 ohm resistor, have that an open, and make this a short. And then let's see what the circuit then looks like. We still have the 10 volt source. We have the 2 ohm resistor. We have the 4 ohm resistor. Then the 16 ohm resistor is gone. The inductor is a short and we still have the 12 ohm resistor here. Like that. So this is the 2 ohm resistor. This here is a 12 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor. Now what we need to do is to figure out how much current flows to the circuit. We need to simplify that even more and find the equivalent circuit of this. Notice that these are two resistors in parallel from this branch point to this branch point. So the equivalent resistance of these two is the, the product over the sum. So that would be 12 times 4 divided by 12 plus 4, which is equal to 48 divided by 16, which is equal to 3. These two resistors then form a single equivalent resistance of 3 ohms added to the 2 ohms here that gives us a 5 ohm resistance to the circuit for this 10 volt source. So the equivalent circuit right here would be a 10 volt source and a single 5 ohm resistor. And therefore, the current leaving the 10 volt source in the circuit prior to opening up the switch, while the inductor therefore is acting like a short, will be simply using Ohm's law, I equals V over R, which is 10 volts over 5 ohms which is 2 amps. So the initial current through the circuit as is will be 2 amps. How much of that will flow through the 4 ohm resistor and how much of it will flow through the 12 ohm resistor? After all, we want to know how much current flows through the inductor here. That's what we're trying to find. I is a function of time is equal to question mark for the branch that contains the inductor. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that the current I through the 4 ohm resistor is equal to the I from the source times the ratio of the resistance of the other branch divided by the total 4 plus 12. And so that means that I through the 4 ohm resistor is equal to 2 amps times the ratio of 12 over 16 which is 3 quarters and therefore I through the 4 ohm resistor is equal to 1.5 amps. And that will be the current getting to this branch point right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the switch here at time equals zero. So what happens now when time is greater than zero? Well, we're going to redraw the circuit. When the switch is open, this part of the circuit no longer plays a role because we don't have a continuous path here. We only have to draw this part of the circuit. So what we have then is we have the following circuits. So we have a... 12 ohm resistor, 4 ohm resistor, 16 ohm, and then we have the inductor. 12 ohms, here that is 4, and here we have 16, and 2 Henry's. All right. Now remember, the initial current flowing through here, let's call it I initial, that's equal to 1.5 amps, right here. That's this current right here to the 4 ohm resistor. Now what happens when this situation happens? Well, notice that all of that current initially went through the inductor because the inductor acts as a short. 
after the current has been flowing for a while because the inductor only opposes a change in the current and none of it will have been going to the 16 ohm resistor. So the initial current through the inductor will indeed be the 1.5 amps. Now we're going to redraw that circuit as a single equivalent circuit of an inductor and a single equivalent resistance. So when we do that, we get the following circuit. Notice that these two are combined into a single 16 ohm resistor in parallel to this 16 ohm resistor. And of course, when two resistors are in parallel and they have the same value, they can be replaced by a single resistor of half the value. So the equivalent resistance then would be 8 ohms. And here we have the single 2 Henry inductor. That would be the equivalent resistance of the circuit after the switch is opened. From that, we should be able to find our time constant. The time constant is defined as the inductance divided by the equivalent resistance. So in this case, that would be 2 Henry's divided by 8 ohms, which is equal to 0 0.25 seconds. And then finally, we can find the equation for the current. I, as a function of time, for the current going to the inductor, is equal to the initial current times e to the minus t over tau. Now, the initial current, as we realize, is going to be the initial current here going to the 4 ohm resistor because all of it goes to the inductor, none of it initially to the 16 ohm resistor. So, therefore, this would be equal to 1.5 amps times e to the minus t over tau, and tau is 0 0.25 seconds. If we leave out the units and want to simplify that equation, we can say that i as a function of time is equal to 1.5 amps times e to the minus 4t. And that would be the simplified form of the equation telling us what the current is through the inductor. So again, the methodology is you take your initial circuit, you look at it before the switch is opened, at time being less than zero, you draw the equivalent circuit with the switch closed, which means that this becomes an, a short circuit and this becomes an open circuit. You find the current. From that current, you figure out what portion of current goes to the 4, four ohm resistor, the rest goes to the 12 ohm resistor. Then you draw the equivalent circuit here after the switch is opened, which means this part of the circuit is removed. You find the time constant using the equivalent circuit, and then you use the general equation of the current. Once you find the initial current and you find the time constant, you find the equation describing the current through the inductor, and that's how it's done.